The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On second down. It's Lynch, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Back to throw, Fields. And Thomas has it. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. Fields on first down. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And got his man complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A big play there for the Dolphins. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And off comes to Lynch. And he stopped immediately there. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's a give to Lynch. And again, the run defense out this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Throwing on third down, Fields. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Vernon Davis there to make the grab. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point by Anderson up and good. And we are tied here in the second quarter. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll try the left side. Harris, and tackled down after a gain of three, leaves him with one yard to go on third down. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Off play action. Pick it. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And this will be incomplete. Both players with a shot at it that time, but neither coming away with it. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. The throw for Claypool is intercepted. Picked up by the 13-time Pro Bowler Ray Lewis. And the Dolphins will take over possession here up at the 44. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. They're able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Yeah, Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport steak. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. On the handoff, Lynch, and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. On the ground, it's Lynch. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Here's Fields. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Mean Joe Green able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. A shotgun snap, Fields. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Looking up into the roof, and he muffs it. It's loose. And able to get this out to the 25. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A lot of ground to cover. Second and 22. This is Thomas. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Big hold of the 30. And finally taken down at the 36-yard line. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run with Marshawn Lynch. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. Lynch 
Finding some room at midfield. And he's going to get this into enemy territory at the 45. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. From the 41, Fields. He rifles one that's intercepted. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. And the Steelers are going to take over a couple of yards shy yeah, of midfield. Yeah, so good great. starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. They turn to Harris to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Off the play fake. Pick it. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Sam Hubbard making his presence felt in the backfield. Throwing on third and long. Pick it. A hit as he throws there incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part and got him the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 35-yard line. Now left side on the swing pass. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back to throw again. He gets it complete to Harris. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'd love to get a little closer if they need to kick the field goal on fourth down. From this spot, it's 46 yards. Going to throw deep for the end zone. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Justin Jefferson, 29 yards. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Extra point by Anderson, up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. To throw once more on second and ten. Fields. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? From the gun on third down, Fields forced out to his left. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it will still bring up a fourth down.
Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust it. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. Pass incomplete. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare yeah, them to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film when those to try something from the 15 on a PAT? I the, don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hole, and someone kicking the ball through the post. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game. With it. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Steelers. It happen. And he 